Yes, Jack, let's go. Well, Josh, right here in front. Hey, bro. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the win at Media Day. You did predict the fight of the night uh, tonight. So is that how you expected the fight to play out in there? Um, it, it, I, I think I, I tagged him just a little bit, and then he sort of backed up real quick and, and didn't come as uh, aggressive as I thought he would. Um, but, yeah, like, he's a tough guy. Choi is definitely a tough guy. I, I feel like he's very underrated in this division, and I feel like he takes out a lot of guys in this division. So to get a good performance and a win over him, you know, puts me up there for sure. Well, we can see the bag of ice on your hands. Uh, were there any of those punches you landed? Were you surprised that he was able to survive some of those? Because you put him down a few times, especially in that first round. Man, um, like I've always heard from from teammates that they say that the Korean fighters have a chin and they're, they, they're known to be able to just walk through some shots and uh, sort of uh, that, that, um, that myth is now a, a fact sort of thing. So, yeah, for sure, these, these Korean fighters, they don't go away easy. So I, I was expecting him to be tough and and push through, but like, yeah, man, I hit him with some solid shots for sure. And especially in that first round, when he popped back up, he bl he kept a blitzing forward with elbows and punches too. Did he tag you with anything that hurt? I think he hit me with one elbow where I was where my feet wasn't really planted, and that's probably the the biggest shot that he hit on me. Um, and then other than that, like he tried to throw a few head kicks, um, and yeah, nothing nothing really significant landed besides uh, that elbow. And then near the end, he obviously took you down. He was working for a rear naked choke for a bit. Were you in any danger at all in that? Nah, not at all. Uh, that's one position that I always drill is, is people jumping on my back and trying to strangle me for sure. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, I just spend a lot of time in the gym drilling these, these basic positions. You know, it might be a little bit boring going to the gym and doing this at hours on end, but this is just what just uh, secured me this victory, you know, was, was just waste, you know, people say that it's wasting time drilling those boring positions but those boring positions is what's going to win you these fights so yeah this is just a lesson to all the young kids that are watching these these this fight um drill man it might be boring you think it's boring but this is the shit that's going to get you over the top and then the broadcast like a minute or so into the first round they were pretty aware that you had the speed advantage in there so i'm wondering uh, how quickly into the fight did you realize that you might you're just faster than this guy in there it's 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 different because uh with with guys with longer longer limbs it takes longer to get the full extension of your shot. So it also takes longer to retract your shot. So uh, longer guys, yes, they can flick their punches out, but if they commit to a shot, it's going to take a lot, a lot longer time for them to retract their shot. So I knew because I had a little bit shorter arms, I feel like I, I, I was going to be the, a bit more faster, faster guy for sure. And then finally, uh, when do you want to get back in there? I know you have that, the hand iced up. Do you want a quick turnaround? Do you want to... Any Bonjour, bonjour. I want to get on that friends card. So I want to be on there with uh, Whitaker and Bam Bam. So bonjour. Any, anyone specific you want to fight or just whoever on that uh, card? Man, whoever. But uh, for sure, I've been eyeing uh, this one rematch. I know he's, he's fighting soon, uh, Charles Jourdain. They said that we had that draw. I knew I won that fight. Um, I'd like to run that one back and show, you know, for sure that I won that fight. But um, yeah, uh, Charles Jourdain, if not Charles Jourdain. He's got a big fight ahead of him, so whoever. But, yeah, get me on that France card. Uh, how, how, how do you plan to celebrate this victory? Oh, man. Uh, with my coach not watching me, I would like to smash a thousand beers, uh, eat some KFC for sure, uh, and, uh, you know, try out the, the chili, the chili, the Singaporean chili crab or the... the Someone just said the you, black pepper chili crab or black pe pepper crab. I don't know. You got to get the spicy stingray. Yeah, and this, I, I went to the markets yesterday, and uh, my coach was like, you're not allowed to have that until after because obviously the chili, you don't know how it's going to react to me. But, yeah, he, I had to avoid eating all that stuff. So definitely going to have some of that after this. Josh, uh, your, your nickname, Kuya, which means um, brother in, in uh, Tagalog, yeah. Uh, can you can you give us the origin of that and uh, w why you have that as your nickname? Um, so it's ironic that I'm called Kuya because I'm the youngest actually of four boys. Um, so I'm actually called the Bunso, which means the youngest, where Kuya means the oldest brother. So um, it, it's ironic like that. But also um, in the gym, it's it's more of a respecting. You don't just call anyone Kuya. Queer is a respecting, and I sort of gained that while I was in the gym. People called me queer, and it was like it just stuck because it was it was like a sign of respect, like you had a big brother role sort of position. So yeah, 
it sort of stuck. And I was like, you know, it, it kind of goes back to my Filipino heritage. So I enjoyed that, you know. So I was like, yeah, no, that sticks. So let's go. Stick with queer. Yeah, I've been calling you that all week. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> all good. Um, Josh, um, just congrats on the victory. Just want to ask, what does the fight, what does the victory mean to you? We saw the emotions after the fight. So what did that mean to you? Man, um, it's, it's been a year since I fought. Um, definitely takes a lot out of you. You, you sort of lose that, dis, you sort of lose that confidence thinking that you belong in there. Um, but I have to say, I have to thank my team for always being there, always lifting me up, making me happy. Um, yeah, just shout out to Igor. Shout out to Johnny Barra. Shout out to Alan. Um, I, you know, I wouldn't be here without these guys. These guys have put me this last year without having a fight has really pushed me through, you know, those tough times of, of not believing if I did even belong in this, in this octagon. So uh, without them, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, I just want to say congrats to you and your team, and I hope you have fun tonight. Thank you. Thank jo you. Josh, last question. Yeah. Uh, before the fight, you said that you wanted to get a two-fight win streak. You got it. How big is that for you? Like I said, it's huge. It's been a year since I fought, and um, just to get this second win, win uh, is massive. Uh, yeah, it's been a very emotional ride just to get here. Um, and like I said, like I couldn't have done it without my team. Um, but yeah, like now that I'm, 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 I finally got the two win streak. Uh, time to keep that ball rolling. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm, I'm here for a good time. I'm not here for a long time. So let's, let's get these fights going. Get me on that Paris card, and yeah, let's start making some noise for Australia, Philippines. All right, then. Thank you. Thanks, guys.